Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Alright, here in this section We'll be talking about steel's calculations Just for piers Of course for piles And circular columns Of course, these three guys Pile, pier and circular column Are just the same things With different names but how can I find steels just for these guys, alright? And this is quite simple. Just go ahead, keep watching. Of course, you may, you may have seen these guys in different shapes. Like uh, this is just uh, a pile, alright? And you can clearly see uh, the main bars in the spirals combination. Just look at over here, this guy. This is also a pile or a pier. Uh, with spiral and of course uh, with the main bars and the drumming uh, maybe in these palms all right this is just uh, a round column with spiral you can clearly see this is just a 2d plan and this uh, this may be called as a long section and of course uh, the pitch is just the distance between uh, the spiral uh, to spiral all right are just between uh, the two circular ties. These are just longitudinal bars and main bars. I think for better understanding we must have a few examples. So uh, let's do in an example, all right? In the example first, we are asked to calculate steels in tons. Yeah, uh, this is a good term, in tons, for a given bridge pier. Where is a bridge pier? All right, it's over here. Yes, this one. And this is just a bridge pier with main bars and some tie bars in circular form. The height is also known as 30 feet. And of course, the lamp section in the plan is also given. From the plan, you can clearly see that main bars are number 8. A direct up 8 numbers. It means uh, I just count these guys. These are 8, alright, in number and the diameter of this guy is 4 feet and of course uh, this tie bar is just number 3 at a rate of 4.5 inches center to center this is just the pitch alright and uh, we are informed to take 5 inches over lab alright uh, this is good term and of course the concrete cover is given as 1 inch oh all data is given yes uh, I'll just come straight into solutions in the solutions, my first approach will be main bars, alright? I'll first find the total length of main bars. And this is of course, number of bars times length of one bar, alright? And these guys are already known. So plug and check in, total main bars length, you can calculate number of bars. Just look at over here, this plan or section, uh, you can count these black dots these represents the main bars and one two three four five six seven eight of course these are eight so i'll plug over here eight because number of main bars are only eight times length of one bar just look at over here you can clearly see it's 13 feet all right the height of the spear it means the main bar length will be also 13 and remember, there is no extra length for hooks or for overlays in this pier. We are not informed, alright? So, it's just only 13. You must get the total length per main bars, 2, 4, 0 feet. When I have the length of any steel bar, then I'm just ready to calculate its weight. And the weight is rather step per word. I'll use a nice formula I always use in my tools, which is d square divided by 5.2.9. And of course, this will give you answer in kg per pit, per any round bar. Per proof, uh, just per proof this formula, uh, how can you prove this formula, is this right? You can watch in the same channel a video tool named as proof per steel weight formula right and this is just quite simple uh, but this will give you answer in feet uh, sorry in kg per feet I must multiply this guy with length 
to obtain the total weight for total length then, right so plug and check in i must get weight of bar equals d square what's the d d is just the diameter of this main bar all right but this must be taken in sutta and of course we are informed here to take its uh, number eight it means it's eight sutta all right so it's square divided by five two point nine times the length is given already it's two four four zero so uh, when you do little mathematics with this guy you must get 1.21 times the length 240 so you must get the weight 290.5 kg but we are just here in palm to, uh, to calculate these guys in tons so I'll just uh, divide this guy by 1000 because just one ton equals 1000 kg I can get the weight 0 0.2905 tons just per main bars all right and this was of course my first approach my next approach is just calculation for these tie bars the circular tie bars all right this guy so i'll just come straight uh, i'll say calculation for circular tie bars let me first draw the next sketch of this guy just look at our hair we are informed to take number 3 at the rate of 4.5 center to center. Alright, and of course, we are also informed to take 5 inches or left. First, I'll just calculate length of one tie bar. Alright, so I can say length of one tie bar. So, let's calculate this guy length. It is, and let me just calculate the length of one tie bar in extra page, alright? So, uh, just keep watching all right uh, let me just calculate uh, the length of this guy this tie bar all right i'll just calculate this one and i'll multiply with number then i can get total length so how can i find this length the length of one tie bar it's a rather straightforward just look at your hair the tie bar is just a circle and remember say this is a circle right now what's the circumference or parameter of circle it's of course 2 pi r all right or you can say it's pi d all right it's quite simple now just look at her hair the diameter of this column or pier is just uh, 4 feet all right and of course here the concrete cover is one inch all right now just look if i just find the diameter of this bar from here to here when i find the diameter of this guy then i can just find its circumference this will be the length of this spiral uh, this tire right and this is quite simple how can i find the diameter of this bar this circular bar from here to here and this must be effective all right it means uh, uh, i'll i'll just find this guy from here from the center of bar and remember the dia of this bar is just 3 by 8 inches we are given all right so i'll just find this uh, the diameter from the center of this bar to the center of this uh, this guy and this is quite simple look at our hair four bit is given all right i'll just subtract concrete core from one side and for this side two it means four feet negative concrete core to one side and to another side it means two times concrete cover i'll say c dot c it means two times concrete cover now just look i'll just subtract half diameter to one side and half diameter to another side for this tie bar all right so it means i'll just subtract negative uh, two times half dia it means d by two and the diameter is just of course three by eight inches or i can say uh, just these guys cross each other i can say only diameter say this is four negative two times concrete cover is one inch all right it's given over here it's concrete cover 
and uh, uh, in example terms we are just informed to take it's one inch all right so negative two times one inch all right negative uh, diameter the bar diameter is just look at over here it's three by eight inch now just look these guys this is four negative uh, two times one it's two inch and this is negative three by eight inch these two guys are in inches and this one is in feet i must convert this guy into inches all right so how to convert this guy just multiply this guy with 12 you can get four eight inches negative two inches negative three by eight inches so do this guy uh, do a little mathematics with this guy you can get uh, 4 8 negative 2 negative 3 by 8 and this will give you of course 4 pi 0.625 pi inches now I need to uh, just uh, convert this guy into pits again I'll divide this guy by 12 so divided by 12 I can get the diameter the diameter d equals 3.802 bit now I, I can just find the length of this tie bar I like this one the circular tie bar this is just a tie bar so how can I find the, the length of this tie bar of course it's pi d all right pi d is just, just the circumference of a circle and this is of course a circle so pi d but just look at over here we are also informed to take uh, the the overlap for this tie is five inches so pi d plus five inches all right this is quite simple so just look at over here it's uh, uh, l equals this is pi d pi times diameter 3.802 plus 5 inches so the length of one bar must be uh, pi times diameter and this will give me this is of course 11.944 feet plus 5 inches I'll just convert the 5 inches into feet this means 5 divided by 12 and this is of course uh, 0 0.41 plus this one 11.944 so the length of one tie bar is just 12.3606 feet now I can put this guy in the equation all right uh, you just clearly watched how to find the tie bar length I'll just put that guy over here it's 12.361 feet and this is the length of one tie bar uh, uh, now uh, uh, what will be the length for all tie bars and of course this is the same problem all right the length of one tie bar times number of tie bars so plug in chang in you must get total tie bars length the length of one tie bar is already over here it's 12.361 now what about number of tie bars of course just divide this height by center to center which is 4.5 so 30 divide uh, and just look at where here I'll just uh, plug up our mula a little in detail it's a uh, height divided by center to center and the center to center distance is given all right it's 4.5 inches but I, I'll just uh, add extra bar per top so uh, now I'll just plug over here it's 12.361 times h it's 13 so 13 divided by 0 0.375 actually 0 0.375 is just 4.5 inches all right but I must plug over here in feet just divide 4.5 inches by 12 you can get 0 0.375 feet and plus 1 so uh, just look at over here uh, when you divide 30 by this guy you must get 80 plus 1 it means 81 and uh, when you multiply 81 with this guy you must get 100.1.241 bit and this is length per over all toy bars alright 
So it's uh, it means this is the length per all uh, at one tie bars. And the one tie bar length is also uh, our hair given. Uh, we did this guy a few minutes ago. So when I have the total length, I can just get its weight very easily. So let me do uh, this guy over here in detail. The weight formula, you already know this guy, it's d squared divided by 5, 2.9. This will give me weight in kg per feet. I'll just multiply this guy with length to get all weight. So weight of bar must be d. What will be d over here? Just look at over here, it's number 3. It means uh, 3 squared divided by this guy times the length is given already. So the weight must be when you just uh, do little bit with this guy, you must get 1.1701 times the length. So you can get 170.311 kg per tie bars. But I, I need uh, these guys in tons, divide this guy by 1.000 because 1 ton is always equal to 1.000 kg. You must get the weight in tons which is 0.1703. So alright, my first approach was main bars, which is 0.2905 tons. My next approach was just high bars, which is 0.1703 tons. And this is it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And what? Nothing. Wassalam.